Some very exciting space news today. Astronomers have discovered seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a nearby star. And get this, these planets could hold life. That's because three of the planets are in a zone where water and possibly life might exist. The others are right nearby. So, as always, we go to Jay Reynolds, research astronomer over at Cleveland State University. So, in hey. the world of what you do, <laughs> this is big, right? This is very exciting. We know of over 4,000 planets beyond our solar system, uh, pretty much confirmed. But the fact that these are close enough that we can study with uh, the current technology that we have 40 light years away. So it's very exciting in that sense, especially. So when in the description there, yes. when we talk about the fact that their water right. would lead to possible life, sure. water would be the key thing? Right. Water is uh, what we're finding is pretty ubiquitous in the universe. We're, we're finding it in places, Pluto of all places, yeah. has lots of water. Really? Yeah. Uh, Mars, water, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, even in the clouds of Venus. So at these places, most likely there's going to be water and more than likely liquid water. So, so that's sort of the holy grail when you're looking for life. When uh, we launch the James Webb Telescope in uh, uh, next year, mm -hmm. once it's online, they'll, they'll start to look at this system and they'll be able to analyze the atmospheres of these planets and detect if the atmosphere has been modified mm -hmm. by something that might be living there. Let me ask you this, though. When you talk about life yes. in that connection, right. what are we talking about? What form of life would we be looking at? <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing like Star Trek or, or Star Because that's Wars. automatically what right. people are wondering, right. you know? And, are and, people out there, are they watching the Indians right. and Cubs in the World <laughs> Series? <laughs> right, right. Not the Browns, <laughs> but, but anyhow. Uh, so... Yeah, what is life? And so we tend to make it very human oriented. Mm -hmm. And uh, but after all, dolphins are very intelligent. And so that's a life form there. They're not making rockets, but still it's an intelligent life form. So how do you how do you qualify life and how, how does it come? No one no one knows for sure that there's some good ideas, but it's a whole different evolutionary process there. Where is all this going, do you think, Jay? Where, where, where are we going? We seem to be seeing so much more, and yeah. we see it so much better. We, we so do. much clearer, right? Right. right. Technology, uh, ground-based telescopes are so much better than what they used to be. Plus, we have new cameras also, uh, just like here at the studio. Mm -hmm. New cameras, new technology, new ways of doing things, new procedures. Absolutely. So, so that has led to this, and it's a, it, it's a big race. We have better technology, and it's very exciting. Where does this go from? here. Yeah. The, the future of these discoveries will be in the hands of our children. And so they will make the big discoveries based on what we're finding now. No question about it. What must it be like when they make the discovery? You know, when you absolutely see it and you say, wow, look at those. Those are seven different planets. Right. It depends on your discovery. Um, it's becoming so commonplace to find asteroids and comets and now planets beyond our solar system that it's uh, it's almost becoming everyday an everyday thing. thing huh yeah blase yeah, yeah I, I get that I get the uh, news feeds all the time yep there's another one oh there's one yeah. yeah yeah what would be the next thing Jay that you would be anticipating and very excited if it comes to fruition <sighs> Wow, that's a great question. There is talk yeah. that uh, around a star that's fairly close to us, only four light years away, meaning the light took four years to get here, uh, there's talk about sending a mission possibly there, not with humans, but uh, fa very fast uh, 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 travel uh, travel velocity that we could send an instrument package there and that there is a planet close enough to that star that uh, could or could not harbor life it's very exciting at the possibilities but but that could be 30 years in in, in the future okay so, so we'll see we'll see that's right that's the theme right. we will see we'll jay see. as always thank you always a pleasure sir